for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. I hope you're having a great day. Stay positive, stay focused. Let's get to it. What is the hot topic that's going on on YouTube or Instagram? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. Thank you for all your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, but be kind and also turn on the notification bell. If you don't want to leave a comment, you can leave a heart, a flower, a rose, a thumbs up. Any and everything helps with the algorithm. Let's get to it. Let's talk about it, y'all. Real talk. Steve Harvey Morning Show and Shirley talks about everything that's been going on. Is it just me? Or how is it that a man, a famous man, rich man, wealthy man is not mad at a wife talking about Steve and Shirley, Steve and Marjorie? You're a wealthy man. You're putting them at risk and talking about everything they have in their home. There's some crazy folks out there. Is it just me or is it that Steve Harvey show, do hot topics, trending topics, they talk about people and they have been for 10, 15 years, if not longer. So they can't be excluded. He should be furious with Shirley. But I don't think because she is of value, how can he be? <sighs> Y'all know my page different. I think outward. I think outside of you talking to your husband that's been jailed that kept lying to you oh i should be getting out i should be getting out soon i should be getting about he's still in there you're telling him about a wealthy man's home and what they have in it so you don't think that that dude was not gonna tell other prisoners what's in the house you didn't think that the phone calls that the police officers are listening to the phone calls and like, dang, Steve got it like that. She put Steve at risk. When you think about it, him and Marjorie, but he cool with it, right? Because maybe it is a distraction from what he has going on in regards to the media. Let's listen to Shirley. I just don't see it. You on there talking and, and I'm surprised. Normally Steve get mad about stuff. First off, you know, he normally be like, you shouldn't be telling no prison man what I got going on. Normally, right? Right. Right or wrong. Tell me in the comments. Normally, don't he be like that? Why is he cool with what she said? Dudes in jail, a lot of some of them break the law. They're in there for robbery, whatever. Some of these people are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Why would you be telling my business to a man that's in jail? You, they tell you that the calls are being recorded. Whether you think that it's just between you and him, why are you telling them dude that's in jail or prison about my business? No, I, no, no. So is it that she's so valuable he don't want to fire her? Let's get to the clips, y'all, because this ain't making no sense to me. She would have lost her job telling my business. It's got to hold on. Ben is in jail. Um, he's been in jail for over a year uh, since about the right after the 4th of July of 2022. And recently, some uh, phone calls from last year between he and I were leaked. And uh, on those calls, you hear me saying um, you were winded going up the stairs at your home. And um, Marjorie looks at us as the help. And right here and now, um, I want to apologize to you and Marjorie for what I said. Um, as much as I wish I could, I can't take it back. I can't. I said it and, you know, I want to apologize. It was definitely um, 
not me trying to add to what you and Marjorie already have going on in your lives right now. Um, but the fact that these tapes were released, it does seem like everyone is coming to you, at, coming for you, I should say, at this time, including me. But in reality, the tapes have nothing to do with what you and Marjorie have going on. It was just me running my mouth in a private conversation or what I thought was a private conversation. And again, I apologize. I feel terrible. I make no excuses. You know, I, I people are married to this man for eight years. Um, people are so funny about redirecting issues. With what you and Marjorie issues. have going on. It was just me running my mouth in a private conversation or what I thought was a private conversation. And again, I apologize. I feel terrible. I make no excuses. You know, I, I, I said what I said and, um, there's no denying it. There's no taking it back. Um, back then when the phone calls happened, I was trying to stand by my man, be supportive wife. You know, um, I've been married to this man for eight years. Um, I had no idea that all this was going on with him. I had no idea. And the charges that he's facing are horrific. They are really bad. Um, and, um, I for sure did not want your name mentioned in any kind of way associated with my mess. So I had to call you. I had to tell you it was a hard call, a hard call for me to make. Um, but I called you and, um, I, I want to clear something up, Steve. Um, you did not introduce me to him. Um, I met him through a friend, um, uh, I should say an ex friend now, um, anyway, so, so back to what I was saying, I had to tell you he was in jail. It was going to come out. I didn't want you to hear it from anyone else. I wanted you to hear it from me because I knew once the police and everyone, um, you know, got involved and they were already involved and they found out who his wife was and who she worked with and all of that, um, you know, and, and that's you, Steve Harvey, it will become, you know, a real big story because, it's you, your name. And like I told you, Steve, when I called you, I didn't want to call you. I mean, I was embarrassed. I was hurt. You know, I, I felt so stupid and, you know, I felt betrayed, humiliated, you know, it, it was just terrible. I mean, I kept saying to myself, how is this my life? You know, police and jail and all of this. Um, it, it, it was just something that I didn't, you know, I'd never experienced anything like this. The police came, they took my car. Um, I was at the salon getting my hair done. They rolled up, took my car. Um, I had to have my stylist take me home. I had to move in with friends. I lost my house. I lost everything. Oh. And nobody's making light or fun of Shirley. This is a horrible situation she's going through. It's just interesting that she told a man that was in jail about about Steve and Marjorie's business. Also, like I did a video in regards to 2017, they weren't paying rent. She's a rich, allegedly it was stated she was worth millions. How is it that you're dealing with a dude in 2017 and you guys weren't paying rent? So some people are in the comments is like, why are y'all telling about people's not paying bills? That came from TMZ. Did you give that same energy to TMZ? This was posted everywhere about Shirley Strawberry not paying the rent and them owing the property management, you know, back back rent and that they were trying to pay uh, rent on a place that wasn't theirs, 7500 Give that same energy to TMZ that reported on it they made choices. Shirley and her husband made choices. This is news. This is what media does. What are y'all in the comments talking about? Steve Harvey talks about people five days a week. They joke. They even joked about Shirley Strawberry husband being in jail. Tommy said, oh, Lisa, you don't have to cook no more. Steve said he might be now getting a decent meal in there. What? Come on. With friends and we were going to watch the fireworks after that. And so the fireworks didn't happen that night because it was like a terrible, terrible storm. So the fireworks got canceled. And um, when I look back, I, I see now that that was kind of a metaphor for what was about to happen in my life. The thunderstorms were coming. They were coming. 
uh, the next day was the last time I saw him. He was arrested the very, very next day. Um, you know, I didn't even know he was arrested. So they went to fire. Today was the last time I saw him. So they went to fireworks. She didn't know where her husband was. And then you get a, a phone call that you don't know what it is. And you don't answer to find out if that's about him. It could have been anything. That's all interesting to me. Some stuff's not adding up. It seems as if Steve should be a little bit mad about her telling the business. It seems to me if a wife is worried that her husband hasn't come home, hasn't been home, y'all was supposed to see fireworks. He's MIA and you don't call hospital. You don't call a missing persons. And then you finally get a phone call and you ignore it. And somebody else has to tell you that he's in jail. Was there nice that he didn't show up and wasn't calling and, and was MIA? Big questions. Hell, where'd this call? You know, it, it just didn't compute. Um, so I just ignored it. Um, but he got word uh, to me through one of his friends. They texted me that he was at Fulton County Jail. So um, the next time he called, I picked up and that was him that had called earlier um, from jail. And, you know, he told me what happened. I, I thought he would be getting out in a couple of days because that's what he told me. But of course, you know, here we are a year later, those days turned into weeks, the weeks turned into months. And like I said, I don't, uh, this, this is just on and on every day. It's just something. And, and my life has just been a nightmare ever since. And it's still going on, Steve. I mean, I had no idea that those tapes would be released to the world. You know, I, I knew that they were being recorded, but I didn't know that they were going to go out to the world. I mean, I was just trying to make conversation with him, uh, trying to, you know, just get him to think about something other than where he was, you know, um, I was telling him about my day, this particular day. And that was the, the day we were talking about, um, you know, uh, on the phone when I, I said those things about you and the, the things that you heard and, um, the world heard, um, and cut to today. Um, I haven't spoken to him in quite some time. Um, divorce proceedings are underway. And, and Steve, at this point, all I could say is, what I have is my faith. Um, if it wasn't for God, I probably would have, you know, lost my mind or something in, in this instance. Um, you know, people don't see what happens when these mics go off. Um, you know, who wants their personal stuff, their private conversations to go out to public? No one. No one wants that. I mean, what could I say to you after this, you know, happened? I, I was devastated. I, I mean, absolutely devastated. I mean, I thought of everything. You know, I could lose my job. You know, how could I? Let's take a step back. Don't Shirley read the strawberry letters. That's their personal business. That's their personal life. She became a strawberry letter. Steve don't like it and she don't like it. The, 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 the phone calls was released because he was allegedly lying and cheating, looking for her to pay his lawyer fees, talking to other women. Hello? Not that she should be thanking media, but it's a teaching lesson for women. Don't get a dude that's going to lie, cheat, steal, allegedly, can't be around this and can't be around that. You had it good, dude, and you messed it up. You was messing up in 2017, not paying rent. He supposedly had successful businesses. How was they? How were they not paying rent? It happens, but it happens for two two adult two adult married grown people. Something's not adding up. There might have been concerns in 2017 because of the rent not being paid. Now, mind you, that's how it all happened in regards to them not paying rent and then allegedly them going into the home where they weren't paying rent. Well wishes. Women, you have to be careful who you're dating, who you're seeing. They need to be accountable for providing for the family, not having a background of, of concerns with jail happened. I, I was devastated. I, I mean, absolutely devastated. I mean, I thought of everything, you know, I could lose my job. I, you know, how could I face you? E everything, you know, what I'm going through is what I'm going through, you know, and I've been going through it for over a year. I just haven't spoken about it. You know, then on top of all that, these tapes come out and 
oh, you know, I'm talking about you and Marjorie and you guys are going through your own private hell right now. You know, you didn't need me to contribute to anything, you know, and, and I, I thought back, you know, because I, I, I knew I had to say something, speak on, you created this, created this term years ago in Los Angeles called reality radio. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is about as real as, as it gets, you know, um, Sure. And the reason I'm here before you now, I wanted to say it live on the radio, is because your name is in it. You know, we've been friends for a long time, Steve, and, and, and these jail calls were made public, and I wanted to give you and Marjorie a public apology and to ask for your forgiveness publicly. I, I, I just wanted to have a real moment with you. And, um, you know, I have to tell you, I've been coming to work every day because, you know, it's my only safe haven right now. It gave me a place where I could still be myself and forget my troubles for a little while, you know, and just, you know, do my job. You know, I, I want to thank you guys. I, I want to thank you, of course, Steve, Tommy, Junior, and of course, my girl Carla, you know, for the space and the grace that you guys have shown me. Um, you know, this is a very difficult time in my life, is if you can imagine. You know, I, I just, I love you guys. We're family and I thank you. And I just want to thank everyone. I, I'm just trying to live. I, I'm sorry for what you and your wife are going through right now in your life. And, and I hate your names were dragged into my drama because you certainly don't deserve it. All right, Steve, I, I'm going to just start by saying that. So what was this? I just wanted to do a recap review. You can go over there, find out what Steve was talking about. He then made it about him and Marjorie and about all the alleged cheating rumors. But there's a dude that's in jail and she's telling your private business to a dude that's in jail. It's really about what his charges are, what he's in there for. Then for them to joke later on in regards to she don't have to cook no more, huh? He might now be getting a different, a, a better meal or getting a meal, huh? Well wishes. Y'all, I told y'all, I think different. My biggest thing is, you're a wife. You should be communicating about your own situations, your own private life. You should not be bringing your famous family issues in jail. This is the other thing. Steve's talking about the timing of it. People have been talking about this for three or four months. The Zoom call went out. They were talking about who he was, his wife being famous, they said her name, and then they kind of backtracked that she's so famous, we need to be tread lightly on exposing who his wife is. So the Zoom calls went out a while ago. There's been one, two or three months ago, and then I think there was one like last month. Other lawyers and higher YouTubers are talking about where, what, time, the 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 bonds they're doing all that we're just talking about the general stuff but well wishes thanks for tuning in thanks for supporting the channel like comment and subscribe